Hey there everybody and good morning. Welcome back to another episode of Forder. You got me, Solomon here, and uh, I'm giving some of my attention to, to this road ahead of me. Right now we're actually in Atlanta. We stayed last night at one of our buddies' houses and uh, we're driving back to Saudi Daisy. It's about two hours and uh, enjoy this beautiful B-roll. All right, everybody. So we just made it back over here to uh, to the collection, and uh, right now we're going to open up the building and then start doing some more organizing and figuring stuff out. So uh, come along, and uh, we'll have fun. Well, how you doing? How you mom and them? All right. Well, we're back over here. We got to move there. You see, that was a one-shot wonder. Doesn't happen often, but by the grace of God, just back right on up. You know cameras work I guess it's in gear good trucks you know they have gears all right you can forklift time Certified forklift operator, smart time YouTuber, time badass. All right, everybody. So you're probably wondering what the game plan is for today. So we're gonna lay it out. This whole area here is gonna have all the trucks in it. So we need to move all the junk, scrap to the scrap yard, but we're gonna first put it all into that little area. So we're gonna go clear that, and you guys can see B-roll of all of this. So uh, go grab some popcorn, maybe a soft drink, and come on back. Alright guys, so now it is party time and uh, 
Rome is starting to figure out what's the plan on uh, Snickers. This is the first one that he is going to polish up and I am so excited. So uh, if you guys already saw, I included some B-roll before. And uh, dude, what are you doing? Uh, right now I'm metering the paint. Um, usually on these older vehicles, the paint's um, typically pretty thin. Um, so before I touch any car, whether it's a single stage older or a newer vehicle, um, I want to meter the paint first just to see how much substrate we're playing with. Um, on the newer vehicles, um, you can start buffing with not knowing how much substrate you're playing with. You can immediately go through the clear and cause a lot of damage. So wow. it's more of like a fail safe method for me. Um, on these older ones, um, a lot of customers, they like to preserve as much of the uh, integrity of it as possible. Um, so you just don't want to go at it blind. Um, always, in any case, you want to see what you're playing with so you don't hurt somebody's. Kind of like on the hood where it's like really fading here because someone probably just rubbed it yeah too much. yeah yeah especially and i see this a lot on some vehicles these uh, painted on decals and um a lot of a lot of people you know they want to preserve those more than anything because they stick out so me personally using a machine on something i don't know anything about is just a cause for taking money out of my pocket or to ruin something that's original and you definitely don't want to do that so always meter the paint first so once you figure out the metering like what's the process just so the guys can kind of understand because we're going to show them like clips of you doing it but we're probably not going to talk about it we're just going right. to go um after after i meter it um i'll assess what i'm going to do as far as like you know what i'm going to polish or whatnot and then i'll wash it um if it does need a clay bar in some cases you can um some not but i'm definitely going to try to decon this as much as possible so the protection i put on at the end after we polish uh, will hold up um, I'm from Arizona, so protection is everything, you know, when it comes to that. Um, in some places, I mean, you can get away with it, but. And uh, since I didn't really give you a big intro, like he said he's from Arizona. It's not like he's from there and like he lives here in Tennessee. I flew him in from Arizona because I don't know a detailer that is more badass that does original paint stuff. I met him because he did uh, some C10. So he did Sam Castronova C minus, and then he did Ronnie's uh, Orange Slice. And that's how we met. And Orange Slice is a truck just like this, yeah. where it's got original decals. And you preserved those and I was petrified of losing this. So, you know, he made the trip out and we're gonna shine this one up. And we're gonna try to get a few more done uh, before you gotta head home. Yeah, so absolutely. you guys, we're gonna have a lot of fun. And oh, yeah. uh, if you don't yet, Make sure to check out his Instagram account. It's uh, uh, RTP underscore customs with a Z. Awesome. And uh, you guys, we're going to do a bunch of B-roll. And if there's anything that I'm questioning, I will turn this on so that way you guys can hear me ask the questions and stuff like that. And if you have any questions about any of this stuff, drop it in the comment below and uh, we'll make sure to get the, you know, answered for you. And so all the trucks that are in this area are gonna need to go into that back area. So that's the game plan. And then uh, Greg's gonna be working on a couple trucks that are gonna be getting fixed up and sold. So uh, right now we're gonna go pick out the first three that he's gonna load up and take back to Arkansas. Um, and then you guys make sure to follow Needham's Garage so that way you can see the progress on those trucks and when they're gonna be for sale because everything will eventually be for sale. Um, he'll be the one posting it for sale. I mean, I'm obviously gonna share it so that way everybody sees it, but you make sure follow Greg so you can get on it and if you like the trucks call dibs um, we'll probably tell you how much it'll be now but when it's finished so you can call dibs you can buy it now it'll get done in a timely manner and then you come pick it up and drive her home so uh, we're gonna walk around find them three and then we're gonna start moving stuff around and we'll show you all of that keep 